Now only two remain in our path. Right. Your end of the world party's dwindling, Sinsui, and I trust you don't want to be plant food. Give Kuabara back to us like you promised. Huh. No need to get heated, Yusuke. I've kept my word. He's no longer in my possession. What? No, but I never saw him move. You bastard! Look, there! Kumara! What the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> Jeez, not being able to tell you guys how to fight, that's worse than dying. Stay focused. How did you get over here? I don't know, really. One minute I was sitting in the boat, and the next thing I was all mixed around. Dizzy. As soon as I got my wigs together, I was here. Did you see something? Well, uh... Look, Karama. Oh, yeah. Maybe something like that. Okay, another thing on my weird list just got checked off. <laughs> yep, there goes another one. <laughs> Stupid. I'll leave you two alone. What you did with my friends, but I tell you now, for every one you hurt, I'm taking a limb. You're misunderstanding it. Your friends haven't been touched. I'm not interested in their fates. I just don't want distractions. So, then it's time. What is this place? Looks like the dark bowels of hell. You mean that? Well, guys, wherever we are, I would really, really like to be untied. We are in the bowels of something, Karama. I'd say it's a dark soul. Dark soul? What's that? <clears throat> Sounds terrible. An old apparition. It lives beneath the surface of the earth, collecting human trash. But we were not swallowed by chance. Someone else must be controlling this creature. Creature? Uh, please, call him Yure Toko. That's his proper name. He's my pet. I tamed him myself. Itsuki. You're not truly a human, are you? Do you think a human could have produced that tunnel? Yamanate, the devil with six hands. This rare supersensory breed of demon has six arms, which can move independently of their master. He's an actual Yamanate. <laughs> I don't care if he's a unicorn, let's start this fight! We'll see how special he is when I'm smashing him! Calm your anger, Kuwabara, I'm not here to fight. What?! Then why the heck did you bring us to this freaky place? We sightseeing? Cause I've seen enough. I'm protecting the fight between our detectives. Though we are on different sides, we serve the same cause, do we not? Protecting this battle through its completion without bickering amongst ourselves. Yusuke deserves it. Sensui deserves it. <laughs> he doesn't deserve bunk! You tell me one good feature that traitor has. One decent thing that makes you follow his end of the world crusade. <laughs> he has everything. Since we can be violent, courageous, spiritually pure, and even fragile. He can be a graceful spokesman with charisma to bring anyone to his side. Indeed, I have been drawn to his aura like a moth to the flame since the very first moment that we met. I first saw him in the darkness, forging a path of light. I would follow him for hours unbeknownst to him. Just watching him work made me feel alive. <laughs> My 
obsession grew, I began helping from the shadows, killing apparitions who wanted him dead. Of course, when he caught me, he wasn't grateful. I was just another demon to judge. Do you have anything to say before you die? If it's possible, let me have one more day to live, Mr. Sensui. Why should I? Tomorrow, my favorite television show airs its final episode, and I'd like to see how it ends. <laughs> demon to ever make me laugh and so he let me live i suppose i was his first step in realizing his relationships of good and evil could not be so traditionally defined you mean there's all kinds of apparitions good and bad who could have dreamed that a hunter i admired for physical prowess this killer of killers could also be warm compassionate intellectual open to broadening his view of the world. Yes, I admit my attraction was not purely academic. I always wished he would become my lover. Okay, you can stop right there. I don't think my ears are old enough for this. If you truly care for Sensui, then help us stop him. The path he's chosen will destroy him as well. You can't save the damned. Don't you see? I'm expecting him to act terribly and hurt people. Even to his own end, there's no way to stop it. Why not? Because since we must follow his soul's true course, drop ink on the finest snow-white paper and it will inevitably absorb into black. Its purity demands it. Tainted men have immunities. Black does not absorb black. Since we's change is but proof of his perfection and you cannot stop him. The ability to prevent this demise would show purity did not exist. Purity is worth the world. And worth it ending. You're really making me nauseous, all of your fancy lies. You can't excuse him, he's a monster, cut and dry. You're not listening to me, Kubara. I'm not excusing him. Then what the heck do you call that? Since we is indeed becoming depraved, but I must let that happen. Because I know, whatever he does to the world, even if it kills us all, is what we deserve. You should know, I will kill you if I can, without remorse. You will do what you must, Kurama, but whether I live or die, the battle will not be affected. My Yuro Otoko will make sure of that. You see, I'm the only one who can control him. If we kill him, I get the first hit. I'm afraid these surroundings are making us stir crazy. Let's have a better view. you see grow a canker on your soul and you cannot heal the sore. Do you want to know why? Because the canker keeps growing and consumes you. The evil you're chasing becomes who you are. Just picture where you were a year ago before any of your noble detective work began. Would you ever have imagined murdering another human being? Now your team's killed three in under a week. Imagine ten more years on that steep decline. Those were all setups. You fixed it so that killing them was our only choice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
We humans can justify anything, can't we? That's how our corruption begins. That's why I like demons. They make no excuses. They accept their wickedness. Just as you will, in time. No! Remember this always, Yusuke, if you survive this day. Your immortality is your strength. The moment you accept it, your confusion will subside. No longer filled with guilt and anger over what you're becoming, you'll focus more on your fighting and you'll at last have your peace. <laughs> <laughs> times when I've been pissed and hated things, but it wasn't from this work. My dad's a no-show, my mom's a lush and school sucks, but this job is the one damn thing I've ever been good at. And if all the crap in my life hasn't screwed me up yet, then neither will this. And neither will you. take things so seriously sometimes. <laughs> you see, that's precisely what I mean. Once you've accepted your evil nature, you'll feel much more relaxed, no matter the odds. Take me, for instance. If your power ranking's a 10, mine is a 6. <laughs> Speed, strength, stamina, you beat me in all three. And yet you're still going to die. Why, since we're talking so much? You think he's buying time? I don't think that's it. He's exuding as much confidence as ever. You're right, Karama. I haven't seen Sensei this happy in a long time as he's getting to kill and prove a point. Shut up! From now on, you're in quiet time, okay? Don't listen to him, you're messy. Just do it your best, dad. Kick and tail! Despite advantages, you can't win. Want to hear a list of reasons? <laughs> We've talked so much already. I don't think my attention span can take it. So let's just skip to the fun. <laughs> 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 Honesty from the bad guys! You are faster, Yusuke, but it doesn't matter. Reason one why you don't stand a chance. I can predict your moves. Nobody can predict my attacks! I'll have you know I beat a mind reader, okay? I'm too crazy to call! It's not about being a psychic. It's about experience. When you dodged my kick, I knew you'd answer with your favorite finish. A right hand hook to the jaw. Despite your speed, my knowledge of this allowed me to turn just enough to make your fist slide off. I played a detective just like you, and like you, decoding my opponent's fighting style is my strength. But I've been doing it for decades longer. <laughs> so I guess I can't surprise you. Then I guess you know this too, that trusting what people tell me has never been my thing! Yeah, bring it to him, you're messy! 
Just do anything obvious and Lizzie thinks you won't, cause then you should. <laughs> to me and did something right now finish it so we can leave i haven't eaten since they kidnapped me what's that since we you forgot how to swim you drowned great we'll pack up and go you heard kuwabara he starved good hits detective between that and the water, my shirt practically dissolved. <sighs> oh! Gross! Look at the scars he's got. Guess he wasn't lying about all the fights he's been through. Don't you know what they say about assuming, Kuwabara? These wounds aren't from enemies. No one's ever hurt me that bad. I gave myself these scars as part of my training. Great, a masochist. True, though his body's well-trained, it's like punching a tractor tire. Let's fight like there's a little more at stake. <laughs> What's that, since when you forget how to swim, you drowned? Great! We'll pack up and go! You heard Kuwabara, he's starving! Good hits, detective. Between that and the water, my shirt practically dissolved. <laughs> say about assuming Kuwabara. These wounds aren't from enemies. No one's ever hurt me that bad. I gave myself these scars as part of my training. Great, a masochist. True though, his body's well trained. It's like punching a tractor tire. Now, let's fight like there's a little more at stake. Perhaps. 
Perhaps it's time I stepped up my game. Watch closely. Splinter! Resurrection! like playing dodgeball in gym class. I always skip gym! Take more than that to keep Yusuke down. Are you sure? Mm. How much more it will take? That I'm not so sure of. Is that all you got? <laughs> you are foolishly cocky. A regrettable sin. Now reason number two why you cannot beat me. When attacked from multiple angles, your defenses are negligible at best. What? You think too linearly. Pitiable. You've been spoiled. As a fighter, you've grown a little too comfortable with these gentlemanly one-on-one -on -one duels of yours. <laughs> I needed to fight many opponents at once when persuasion failed. So this technique was born out of that necessity. Oh, come on! You just did that! Can we play another P.E. favorite besides dodgeball? You know I play a real mean game of four square. No time for jokes, Yusuke. <gasps> His energy is so much stronger now. Which brings us to reason number three, why you don't even stand a slim chance of beating me. The gap between your spirit energy and mine is far too great. If your spirit energy could fill a fishbowl, Mine would fill the ocean. Which ocean are we talking about? Because, buddy, some of them aren't as big. There's no way. The difference between them's too much. He'll... he'll be murdered. as much as the first time because there's plenty more where that came from if you did so don't be shy hey get up don't quit now you messy thanks for the head kuwabara i never would have thought of that on my own if that's all your energy could do, what's that say about mine? I've beat spirit beast and technique collectors. I've beat Tagoro at his best. I took their hits, and I could sure take yours. There's a difference. I fight with divine justice on my side. And justice kills!
targets attacks from multiple angles. But sometimes, a good defense is just kicking ass! Individually, those energy blasts aren't so bad. It's only when they reconvene and attack Yusuke all at once that their power is too strong. You see? I knew you were you could take him! Now it's time for my list! Reason number one where I'll smash your face! I'm just better than you! And I'm not as predictable as you think! Bet you didn't see this coming! You still think you know what I'm gonna do next? <laughs> hey, stop clowning! This is no time to be taking a dip! He's never been one for good manners. <sighs> I've got to admit that was very refreshing. And now I'm ready to go a few more rounds. <laughs> and now we return to your same old conventional punches. It's unfortunate, honestly, to see that your brief spontaneity was merely a passing reprieve. That's way too many big words, pal! So he went swimming so he could snap his shirt like a wet towel. That should halt Sensui's Rashuken blocking, for the time being at least. What is this mockery? This isn't martial arts! No, it's called street fighting! Guess you didn't see it coming! Gah! What was that? It appears he's transformed his arm into the barrel of a gun. It must have taken restraint to hold back on that for as long as he did. It's not him. He has been substituted now. The only person who can produce that weapon is the ruffian known as Kazuya. Kazuya? What are you blabbering about? There's no substitution. We've been watching this the whole time and nothing's come or gone. Except maybe your marbles. <sighs> Multiple personalities? What? Oh, don't tell me this is getting weirder. Indeed. There are seven. All coexisting within Sensui's brain, each with distinct traits and talents. There's seven of him! I can't believe this! I had no idea! His subconscious created them to cope with the madness. It's an impulsive defense mechanism, the brain's own primitive survival instinct. Witnessing something beyond the range of normal human experience, most will go into shock. <laughs> Since 
Sui has seen much in his lifetime, but nothing like that night. He created the others to bear the brunt of that trauma, and ever since, he escaped from personality to personality, searching for answers to the dilemmas that plague his soul. Plug up your wound? He's got an insanity tag team! Kazuya is by far the most ruthless and cold-blooded of the seven. He's been known to torture small children purely for its entertainment value. We ain't officially met yet, though we do have a friend in common. I'm slicing us out of here! <laughs> Minoru's a little too chatty for my taste, but I dug that list of his. I got one to add. The fourth reason why you're gonna get skinned. <laughs> because, kid, you ain't totally off your guard yet! <laughs> You're wasting your time. Those dreary weapons and your faith in them are nothing more than an insult to the indestructibility of my dear Yure Yotoko. No! <laughs> so, now that you're the one lying there taking it, tell me, how does it feel? You! You look at me like I'm crazy! You think I've gone off the deep end? You think you're better than me? No. I can't bear to watch this. Is there anything we can do to help? <laughs> You'll never experience any pleasure without feeling a little pain. I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> now come to daddy. My, you've got the face of a little angel. <laughs> Too bad, I gotta bust it. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Not this way. But he's our hope. Shinobu! <laughs> Let him go. Shinobu ain't here. Nice timing. Get it, Koenma? Stay back! Shut up, you little shit! No! Get that gun away from him, you whack job! We can't even help him! I can't take it! But you don't have a choice. As you see, I haven't lied. This specter's belly is a separate reality, and we are trapped inside. The only way to transfer out of it is through my power, which I'm sure you will never possess. You... traitor! What's that for? I'm gonna smash him! Why don't you think a little? Itsuki is the only one who can free us. Kill him and we'll be trapped here. Please, Sensui. Doesn't humanity have enough sins already? This ain't a sin. It's just the first step in pushing justice and order into the universe. If it makes you feel better, we can call it capital punishment. No! Don't do it! There's nothing much I like better than brains on a wall! Yusuke's 
spirit gun, there's no mistake in it, must have fired the big one. You think it was enough to have defeated Sensui? I'd like to say so. A blast like that was enough to cut down Tagoro at top strength. But Sensui's signal still feels the same, and after that shot, Yusuke will be as good as a toy pistol. <laughs> I didn't realize you still had so much energy left. You nearly caught me by surprise. Yeah? Well, imagine my surprise, pal. I had a whole mental picture of what you'd look like as a heap of charcoal. I look really suited you, too. No! Get up! <laughs> Bad time for laughter, since we. Do you really think I'll let you go on like this one moment longer? I'm no human. I don't have their limitations. I'll stop you, whatever the cost. <laughs> since I helped make you, I'll give you warning. Stop this plan before I am forced to act. <laughs> Help to make me? Yeah. You got no idea how right you are. It's just freaking hilarious. Can't get me if you don't know what I am. What do you mean? I know you enough. Nah, you know the goody two-shoe Shinobu. But you don't got the smallest tip off on me. So let me give you the first peek. Name's Kazuya, and Shinobu's taking a little nap right now, which was my idea. I show up when the other six can't handle it. Hold on, the other six? <sighs> That's right, it's a party in here. And don't get me wrong, some may rub me the wrong way, but we see enough in common. We all sprung this plan together. All seven of us. So that is what he meant. The thought Morota read from his mind was misinterpreted. By seven, we assumed he meant the psychics he recruited. Let's dig a hole, each one of us. Seven graves will be a decent start. We assumed since we cared for his team, but in truth, the Seven were his own personalities. The Psychics were expendable. He planned to be the sole survivor from the start. That's correct. As his partner from the naive years, I'm the only one who realized, but I can take care of myself. It was the night of the raid when it began, when he learned his murders as humanity's defender could not be justified. The guilt was too much for Shinobu. So Kazuya was created to take responsibility for these deplorable acts. Yet as the plan fermented, he saw violence would not be enough. He needed to recruit help through lies and manipulation. More sins Shinobu could not face. So Minoru appeared, the orator. And so it went. At every moral crisis that stood in the way of Sensui's plan, a new personality would be forged to do the work. It solved the paradox of how one can punish, if doing so requires you to commit the very same sins. This way his core soul could remain morally undefiled. Of the seven personalities, one of them is a girl. She has a beautiful mind, capable of the most delicate and loving thoughts and poetry that I've ever heard spoken. She would talk to me in the dead of night, always crying, venting sorrows, that if not expressed, would have killed Sensui from a broken heart. Besides Shinobu, I favor her the most. Sometimes I think we're in love. What are you saying? No, don't answer. I don't want to get your crazy disease. <laughs> I don't doubt you, Kazuya. I honor your true existence, and I admit I can't relate with you. Call Shinobu. Please, I need to speak with him. <laughs> hey, Shinobu! You awake yet? Shinobu! <laughs> He's saying he don't want to talk to you. He's saying he hates you too much. But he pays attention to what I say, doesn't he, Kazuya? Shinobu, listen to me. This isn't the answer you're seeking. It's not too late to stop- Sorry, Princey. But you're wrong about that.
calming period is over. It's stabilized. Face it, little prince. We've all chosen our fate. Then so have I. The Mafukin, also known as the Conscious Ring or the Wicked Seal. When fully powered, it is the strongest defensive spell in all of Spirit World. For centuries, Koenma has transferred his spirit energy into his pacifier, the vehicle for his Mafukin spell, a precaution for darker times. When released, the Mafukin will create a Kakai barrier net to ensnare the encroaching enemy. Far more powerful than the Kakai between worlds, it specializes on demons and can even trap the S-Class with ease. If I engage this Mifukin, it will first seal the precious tunnel which you've poured your life into creating. Then I'll trap you inside the net, and you'll never move again. <gasps> I've kept this thing between my teeth for most of my existence, giving it my spirit energy. It was for humanity's next dark day in a few hundred years. Yet you give me no choice but to use it now. Well, you're just as stupid as Shinobu says. You can't use that fancy weapon on little old us. Who's gonna save the humans in that supposed dark time now? We must handle each new dilemma as it comes to us. If your plan is allowed to continue, in a few hundred years there will be nothing left to save. This way your conspiracy will end. You're finished, Sensui, unless you plan to kill me. My, my. You really ain't screwing around. You should consult with your other sides. Are you really ready to be damned? Because surrender and torment are your only choices. We'll chat it over. Rearrange the gears turning in your head. I don't want you to use this on you. Please return to the sense where you were. If there has ever been a human destined to be spirit protective, it was you. You were born with incredible powers and an obsession for making things right and just. It was my fault. I was too eager to close the case. How could I not have known how you would react when you saw the darkest vices of man? When you realized your life's work of protecting humans from demons was not a crusade of pure justice, but a study in gray. It is a war waged against evil, yet the evil is within. How else can I justify what I've done but to continue? Then shouldn't all humans die? But there has never been a light that did not cast a shadow. Darkness by its nature must always be entwined with good. And I must take the burden for what you are now. I exposed you to that truth your idealistic mind can't understand. So, if you continue this battle for unearthly principles, if that's what you decide, then I will go with you. trap myself in the net with you. Share the pain of being trapped without movement for eternity. It's the least I can do. Please, Shinobu, come around. We've come to our choice. It's unanimous between all seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're continuing our plan as soon as I kill you off. <laughs>
to hell! Huh? Go! You're a messy! What'd you do that for? Guess he's recovered. Idiot! Why did you interfere? Maybe I got a concussion. But the way I remember it, I'm the damn detective and this is my case to solve. If you go wasting away, Mr. Pacifier, that means I failed. <laughs> oh, it's nasty that it's covered in spit. <laughs> hey, you should thank Koenma. He bought me some time for some beauty sleep. Right. I forgot you inherited that Winch's spirit wave technique. Makes you a real good healer, don't it? Just don't give yourself a pat on the back. Don't bother with the bull. Let's just get back to killing each other. Don't be ridiculous. You're no match for him. Give me back the Mavukin now! I'm trying to do this the nice way. And what's the alternative? You gonna tie me up with your shirt? Not exactly. Uh, Actually, it goes a little something like this. You have no idea how long I've waited to do that. Now it's just the way it should be. You and me. One of you in there said you didn't care about the tunnel now. Well, that's exactly how I feel. The world ends, the world survives. I don't friggin' care. All I care about is that you're beaten. Well, that's awfully reassuring. Yeah, considering he's our last hope, his priorities are a little skewed. Your name's Kazuya, right? The guy with the gun? Well, go get me someone else. Say what? That's right, take your gravelly voice and run back to the biker bar. Show me the top man. You're really a brainless bitch, aren't you? I'm out now because I do the sick work. <laughs> you don't get it. I can't waste time on you. You're too easy. Uh, I'll blow your skull off! you want. I don't care if you torture cute animals, that doesn't make you strong. Now show me your real leader. No! I want to beat your strongest side so I know it's done. You got it? Uh, I can take him! I can... Which freak am I talking to now? My name is Shinobu. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> He's the true mastermind, right? I guess I've never heard the real him until now. My colleagues have told me so much about you, but at last we can be properly introduced. To be honest, this is the first time I've shown my face to anyone in months. The pleasure's mine. What? This is like a prisoner tipping his executioner to get a clean cut. Pleasure's mine. Faster! Itsuki, may I have?
have the arms and spare clothes. Hmm. It's so weird. I've never seen Mr. Sinsui like this. Yes, his countenance has changed from before. I dare say he sounds innocent. That's because he is. In his reality, Shinobu has never committed a crime. He knows his other sides have done wrong. But he's separated from it. Able to blame them and grieve for what they've done while realizing it's necessary. Such a complex side, I guess that's why I like him the most. What? That doesn't make sense! If this side's so darn pure, how did he get away with hurting Yurameshi? Not that it matters, just going by this new name can't make him any stronger, right? Don't worry, Yurameshi! Whoever he says he is, it's all part of the same sensory! You can take him out! I sensed it that first time I met him in the city. He's been hiding something. His curveball. And now I can tell. He's finally ready for the wind-up. Definitely something more than the rest of his peanut gallery. This is gonna be fun! Be honest, are you still strong enough to face me? A funny thing about that? I did a little power inventory, and it turns out I have exactly enough to cream your face into the wall. Oh. You mean you really believe that's possible? since we like this. Yes, his countenance has changed from before. I dare say he sounds innocent. He is. In his reality, Shinobu has never committed a crime. He knows his other sides have done wrong. But he's separated from it. Able to blame them and grieve for what they've done while realizing it's necessary. Such complexity, that's why I like him the most. <sighs> what? That doesn't make sense. If this side's so darn pure, how did he get away with hurting your meshi? Not that it matters, just going by this new name can't make him any stronger, right? Don't sweat it, you're messy! Whatever he is, he's all part of the same sense where you can take him! <laughs> You sure have the crazy laugh down. <laughs> <laughs> spirit energy at all. It's not demon energy either. Wait a second, if it's not spirit or demon, what the heck kind of energy is it? Solar? Beam can harness. But how could you? It takes 40 years of discipline at least! 40 years shared by seven personalities is only six. Of course, even the training's no guarantee. You need to be receptive to it, having the inherent desire to correct the world around you, something Genkai discovered she did not possess. What? 
Even your teacher has her limits. Sacred energy is about operating on a higher plane, transcending the physical realm. You're tired. You should take a break now. Sloppy sin sweet, so I'll need a cast. You'll need a nose job. You know I have to put that back in my mouth. I know what you are planning to do. Well, it sure beats giving up. <laughs> Shinobu! It's me. Shut up, Koenma! You don't have to. <clears throat> Sorry, but... You don't have a clue what I have to do! I know we'll win. We are going to beat him in the end. Yusuke? What on earth are you thinking? I'm thinking I see now. I'm thinking, no, I know I'm close. To the world's best strategy for kicking ass. You're close? And I'm thinking that Sensui's thinking he knows what I'm thinking, because he usually does. But there's just one thing I don't know. Do you have the stones to pull off what it is you're thinking you'd like to do to me? Or are you scared that your little destiny is nothing but crap? Yes, Sensui! Destiny breaking's our specialty! I wouldn't get my hopes up. Why not? Yusuke doesn't have a plan. There's no way he can win. Hey, whose side are you on? <sighs> he is a wreck. What's he know that I don't? Your senses probably aren't sophisticated enough to know this. But Sensui's energy is currently that of an S-Class apparition. That's a lot, right? That's as strong as they get. And I think Sensui's been restraining himself as much as he possibly can. He broke Yusuke's arm with limited power, delicately, as if snapping a twig. Shame on you! I still have faith! Well, that makes sense. Faith's for the fools, but we've all been made fools here. We assumed we'd triumph, that we'd be able to kill another arrogant enemy. We were arrogant this time. Since we will kill us all. I hate being underestimated, but underestimating is worse. His power's rare even in demon world. I never thought I'd see it like this. And to see it manifested in the hands of a crude human being, no less. I get it, he's strong! <sighs> Not again! Sometimes I don't know my own strength and just lose all control over it. That's my only setback, really. I'm too strong for the human world. Its physics can't hold me. Literally, my strength is my weakness. Isn't that ironic? 
really. don't make any sense. You want to destroy this world, or so you say. But you also say that doing this kind of damage to the world is your greatest weakness. So what are you holding back for, Mr. I'm Too Strong? If it's such a pain for you, just let it out. You stupid child! You think you can take one turn? You're wrong, you know. I don't want to destroy the world. On the contrary, I like flowers and trees, insects and animals. The only thing I hate is all human beings. Then you and I have something else in common. Because we both hate you. Ah, clever. I'm going to grant your wish. If you want to die, then so be it. Look at them. They're getting restless. They know they'll be out soon. But then you won't have to live to see that! We still have a chance. Give me back the Marvel kid. Why, your chew toy? Sorry, I can't. Yusuke! Forget your pride! No, I can't because I don't have it anymore. He must have snatched it at some point. <sighs> right where I want it! Can be the most powerful defensive spell in spirit world, depending on how much spirit energy has been concentrated in it. Or more specifically, in its physical emissary. In Koenma's case, his pacifier. That's why? I always thought he sucked on that because he had some sort of oral fiction. Fixation. The more it absorbs, the more intense its power to defend becomes. Koenma's Mafukin emissary has been collecting his spirit energy for hundreds of years now. Not even an S-Class apparition could break free of the Kakai barrier it produces. Surrender now! This is your final opportunity! Soon the pressure will grow so strong that it will attract even the most powerful creatures in its net! <laughs> Since we can really do that.
should we take that as a sign from above? A sign? Of what? Oh, like we aren't meant to ever leave the apartment again? Or that they still haven't been since we... I can't look away. Wow. You think that has something to do with the boys? Let's, Let's go. go. burial ground. Nah, all it's down there's an old system of caves leading out to Demon's Door Cave. An enormous light just oh, shot up. I can still be right. Looks like we got it. We can't even see the bottom. Look at that. I guess the water main broke under Mushiori City. This has something to do with government testing. We're UFOs from inner space. Don't get too close. You get some kind of reading off this? Yeah. A big energy tug of war going on somewhere. I only hope we're on the right side of that rope. We have to go now. But where are we going? Somewhere far away. I've got a bad feeling. Something bad is gonna happen and it's gonna happen here. Please, be careful, Yusuke. me, but you didn't take into account the sacred energy muscle. What a waste of your royal saliva. <clears throat> the mighty prince fails mightily again. However, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself for this one, sir. Really, there won't be any humans to protect in a few centuries anyway. We'll wipe ourselves out. I'm just not willing to wait. You must be feeling so much guilt about this. Not only did it fall on your watch, you set the forces in motion. You know that, and it kills you. Do you want to run home and cry to your father? <sighs> You're right. I take responsibility for hiring you and sending you to that place. I never thought I'd see the proud son of King Yama humbled at my feet. I'm ready to pay for this. The rest of the world shouldn't have to. <sighs> You're not ready to die. You just stop teething. Don't! You can't win! The world needs you alive, Yusuke. You're their only hope, and you're no good to them dead. It's my mess to answer for, not yours. Oh, right. I'm killing you. Forgive me, I got distracted. You'll walk into my plan. I knew you were messy at some approach all along. I'm big enough to admit when everyone else is wrong. Just try and contradict me now. You're wrong, Kuobara. <gasps> Didn't you just hear what he said? I heard amply. Remember what you did in the fight with Tagoro. Yusuke now intends to do the same. Mm, he's using the spirit fly swatter? Wrong, Tagoro. What you did when Yusuke fought the younger one. Oh yeah, that? How could I forget? Okay, you're messy. It's all you. I did what I could. Now beat him for all of us. Make my death count, okay? I see now. What you did for him, Yusuke is going to do for all of us, except that sense we won't be faking. No, I can't do that. You're messy, come on. to pay for this. The rest of the world shouldn't have to. You're not ready to die. You just stop teething. Don't! You can't win! It's my mess to answer for, not yours! Oh, right. I'm killing you. Forgive me, I got distracted. She's not gonna leave it to us. 
It's not his style to trust anybody. He wouldn't give his life unless he were saving us for sure. Perhaps that's just it. Hmm. Think, Gobara. What you did wasn't a real gamble. You knew what Yusuke had just been through. He was saying he was supposed to be stronger. <laughs> that's right. You knew Yusuke wasn't living up to his potential. A mulberry is a tree. Kuwabara is a man. And I'll prove it. We all have to die when our time comes, but if we do our duty, we don't got regrets. So taste a little piece of my sword, Tagoro. Stay right there, Kuwabara! <laughs> It's all you. I did what I could. Now beat him for all of us. Make my death count, okay? Genkai's spirit orb. Yes, he possessed the power, but he didn't know how to tap into it. Well, then maybe we should kill Kuwabara again. No, Yusuke's maxed out. We're the untapped ones. We have the power, but not the strength of mind to reach it. Not without the pain of loss. So could we save him? Uh, wait, Yurameshi! You don't have to die! If you really think I have the strength, I'll find it! Please, just give me the time, I swear! This won't accomplish anything! Please, Yusuke. You're half right. I've got a feeling what I'm about to do isn't gonna seal up any tunnels or keep demons from having Earth to play with. Whole world's probably screwed. Who cares? But I'll get one thing accomplished. I'll know the loser of this fight. Asking me to take your life, Yusuke. Yeah, that's right. And do it with some style. I don't want some piss poor half ass try. I know you can do it real quickly. Dear Meshi, you can't go this way! This thing! Uh, you, what I did against Tagoro in that fight, I did for you! The breaking point. I did it for you! But you can't ever die and have it be for me! You can't! You can't! You miss me! Following for a reason? Kuwabara? Nope, never heard of you. Is that so? Well, let me just jog your memory, punk! Nobody forgets fighting me! <laughs> Hey! I think you're right! The sound of your ribs breaking does ring a bell! <laughs> I will never forgive you! Not if you go out like this! There's nothing wrong with guys needing each other! For me, you're... For your money! <laughs> you got lucky! Next time you're kissing pain! Yeah, yeah, you ever beat me and I'll become a nun. Really got a pain fetish, Kuwabara. Finally, he remembers my name. Well, let's make this a quick one. My mom's making TV dinners. The only way you're going home is on crutches. Yeah. That zero wins and 46 losses. You should take it easy. He's stronger than the devil. I know how strong he is. I know better than anybody. But men don't give up on dreams. These fellas will never get it. Winning's never been the real reason I fight him. So you're gonna challenge him again? I'm a real man, aren't I? You always gotta be there, you miss you, can't you get it? <laughs> if you're not, then who am I? What's wrong, Shizuru? My brother's heart. I can sense it breaking. I have to admit it, Keiko. I'm really scared. Is it wrong to be? Hey, 
What are you waiting for, head case? Why can't I bring myself to strike? I know he can't stop me. This is what I've been waiting for. It's judgment. Why do I hesitate? Finish him, Shinobu. Show what you're capable of. Lover boy! Release us now and you can keep your ability to breathe. If we're going to die, let us die in war. Against Sensui. Uh, but how? I mean, we tried everything. Kuwabara, Hiei, and myself will join Yusuke in four-on-one combat using every tactic we have. We've gone far past the stage of fighting for our honor. I'm ready. We just needed Suki to let us out of this creature. Perhaps torture would suffice. You'd still fail. <laughs> what? It's four on one! Four times zero power is still zero power. I'll show you zero power! If you really think we can't help, what was the purpose of trapping us? Well, while you were never a threat for defeating Sensui, you could perhaps with teamwork run away. Carrying Yusuke on his shoulder as you escape the cave. Deflecting Sensui's attacks. No, we don't run! Maybe you don't, but you should ask your more strategic friends. Hiei, Kurama. I sense that neither one of you is terribly far from becoming an A-class demon. In fact, Spirit Fox, I believe you once were. Maybe you plan to escape with your lives now and brace for the first wave of demon intruders. Then, make yourself strong, defeat Sensui as a team, and proceed to damage control. He's read our minds. You're clever, Itsuki, but you've guessed wrong. Don't try your bluffs on me, Hiei. I know your kind too well. Just stand here and do the only thing you can. Watch Yusuke die. You're a soulless freak! Uh, Mr. Kuwabara, I've been thinking about something. Sorry, pal, but if it's not about a way out, I don't want to hear it. It is. Remember our fight when you and your friends were trapped inside my water monster? That territory was a dimension you shouldn't have escaped. <laughs> <laughs> but you did by realizing your new power. If you got out of that dimensional beast, then you can get us out of this one. Uh, you think? Mr. Sensui kidnapped you because he saw what you could do. It wasn't a fluke. Just tap into it. Yeah, <laughs> you should have brought this up to me earlier, kid. <laughs> Idiot. He still hasn't learned how to hone his new power. I know you're in there somewhere! <laughs> Why do you think we prevented Gourmet from eating you earlier? Because you're still useless. You can't yet summon the Jig and Toe at will. Come on, power! Come out! Since we finish Yusuke now. Well then, you just heard Mr. Itsuki. I'm no longer allowed to hesitate. One of us detectives has to die. Wait! What are you waiting for? Your balls to drop? No, it's not fear. I just want to savor your fall. Yeah? Well, then I'll make sure I'm tasty for you. <laughs> Now I know I've made the right call. You're done, pal. It's just a matter of heartbeats. Oh. 
trial of humanity, the defense rests. No. What now, Master Genkai? I felt that wind. Please. Is this why I came back? More pain? <laughs> Creepy. That was awfully bizarre turbulence. Something's been shaken up. I felt that before. The first time. Come on! Just stop climbing around! <laughs> Prankster! I get it! It's paybacks for me tricking you with Taguro! Good one! <laughs> Too bad I'm not as gullible as you, big lame <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, just cover up your mouth and nose. You can't complain, right? I mean, dead guys don't gotta breathe. <laughs> Look, your plan to motivate us worked. I broke us out. Now let's beat Sensui together and go home. Come on, I'm not dumb. <laughs> See? You, you can't hide your heartbeat. <gasps> you mushy. And I thought taking his life would bring catharsis. I even timed the video's climactic final scene as a requiem for his death. Instead, I just feel a deeper sadness. Another soul lost fighting for the wrong side. Truth, there's little point in mourning his passing. As humans, we will all join him soon enough. If you insist on getting your swings in, you should hurry. The tunnel is complete. No! Time for closing arguments. The tunnel is open. Are any of you brave enough to lead the way? Attempt to finish what your late friend could not. Sure, bravery is the only thing we got left. died a hero's death, sacrificing your life to save billions of others. You've lit our torches, and I won't let your death be in vain, even if it means I'll be joining you soon. Since we, you're gonna regret making me mad!
Are you gonna be all right, Mr. Koenma? And what will happen to us now? The world didn't come to an end when the tunnel opened up, I don't think. These things don't just happen in an instant. It's not like dropping an atom bomb at a certain time and place. The battle will be drawn out and those beasts he ate deep fried were just the first wave. More of the cannon fodder will follow soon, but they aren't the ones we need to worry about. There are demons of far greater strength and intelligence lurking in the depths of Demon World, laying low and waiting until they know it's safe for them to pass through to this world. And then, they'll unleash a terror more destructive than any weapon man has ever forged, and that is how the world will end. But what about the Kakai Barrier? Won't that keep the really bad demons from escaping? I thought that's why they wanted Mr. Kuwabara's power, so they could use it to break the net that's in their way. But since that never happened, the barrier must still be intact, right? Kuwabara will slice through it. Why would he do that? In order to avenge his friend's death. He wouldn't do anything that rash. You obviously don't know Kuwabara. I'm in no position to stop them. The last of my authority died with him. Where are we? In Demon World? No, we're in the pseudo space. It's a neutral zone between the two worlds. A limbo. Right, who cracked open the Iden box and turned you back into your foxy self? I've not become Yoko Kurama. I've merely taken on the appearance of my demon form while retaining my human personality. It's a side effect of this increase in demon energy. There he is. Huh? Whoa! It's like being inside of a video game! <laughs> no, trust me, it's not. What's that? It's the Kakai! <clears throat> then how the heck did he make it through here? I'm glad you asked. As you remember, my energy's of the sacred kind. Fortunately, the brains and spirit world only made this net to filter out demon energy. That's why I passed through unscathed while Hiei's attack burned out when it hit the net. If my best technique can't even singe his ass through this fence, how are we supposed to fight him? But you and your friend should take some consolation in the fact that this Kakai is only sensitive to the energy of A or S-class demons. <sighs> Which means that in killing your friend, I've awakened the potential you've both dreamed of. Your silence is all the things I need. Ironically though, now that your powers are finally strong enough to match me, you can't get close. Hey, what are you doing? He's right, we're trapped. The only way you'll get to me and satisfy Yusuke's dying wish is if Kuwabara can get his chicken toe up again. Ha! <laughs> yeah, well, I'm 100% human, so I can still make it through on my own. Yurameshi couldn't take me on his own. What makes you think you stand a chance in hell? Uh, we'll see when we get there! <laughs> I could handle you myself, but this way, even if I die, they can still use your skull as an urn for your Meshi's ashes. Huh. This is where you end, since we. The exit. So this is Demon World. I hope that I will find what I'm looking for here. Mm -hmm. 
I need to see where they live, Mr. Itsuki. I need to breathe their air. I will find a way into the demon world. They don't deserve you. How can you protect the humans from themselves? Make amends and fight on behalf of the demons. No kill the demons. Fight the real enemy. The demons are the enemy. The depths of my soul are rooted in dark thoughts. But then we all have darkness and light in us. If we are all light on the outside, there is nothing but darkness underneath. There comes a time when the darkness must come to light. Hey, has anybody noticed that we're falling very, very, very fast? Here, do you know where in Demon World we are? Yes, I believe I've been to these parts before, and if I'm right, then we're rather lucky. It's the forest of fools, just low-level demons who won't present any kind of challenge to us. I know about the dying all, but I really hate it when you guys ignore what I have to say! Hold on tight. Fox and a butterfly? Is there any animal you can't metamorph into? I haven't turned into a butterfly. This is merely the leaf of a plant, doubling as a glider. Look at that cocky punk just free falling without a care in the world, but I bet you he wishes he had something to catch him now. <gasps> what did he do? You begin to see what my sacred energy is really capable of. I don't have a bag of tricks or a packet of seeds, and I don't need them. I can fly without any roots attached, without even the help of my maker. That's why they call me Black Angel. If we lived in less cynical times, the gift I'm preparing for the world might have been labeled for what it really is, a miracle. You think you could scare us with that Holy One crap? Does he really believe we'd turn around after all we've been through? Who cares what he is as long as he's dead? I admire your electric enthusiasm, Hiei, but I don't want to hurt these beautiful woods. You mind if we finish this fight over there? I see. The Plateau of the Beheaded, a fitting battleground indeed. Come to think of it, it's giving me some ideas. I got some of my own. This is not something I usually do. Fighting opponents who I know have no chance of beating me. But I'm making exceptions for you. To offer some modicum of peace that you at least try to avenge your friend's death before your own. Oh, come on now. Is that supposed to impress us? I'm not doing a costume change. The great thing about this armor is that it not only strengthens my defenses, but boosts my offense as well. You can't stand up to me. I'm a living, breathing, sentient tank. Well, I think you might want to consider spinning your turret around. <laughs> Dragon! Another one! This may be the first time he has ever been willing to die for anyone but himself. of the demonic vine! And I think you know this sword! Starting to piss me! 
me off! Invincible now. <sighs> Nothing worse than being strong, but not strong enough. It only prolongs the inevitable conclusion. But be sure, this will be your inevitable conclusion, no matter how long it takes us to reach it. <sighs> an idea? I'm sorry you feel so much dedication to your misguided cause. It pains me, for your hearts are noble. I used to be a pawn, like all of you. It's not too late to save yourself. You know, I gave up worrying about dying a long time ago, Sensui. And I care even less about the pain it's going to involve getting there. As long as I take your hide along with me when I go, so you better be ready to meet your doom! <laughs> That's not what that means. I, I'm sure he's just fine. What's happening? He's moving on his own. I, I can't hold on to him much longer. Don't go away, Boo. I can't lose you, too. No! <laughs> How tough can it be to trail him? Yeah. I don't get it. He's too young to be dead. No, what I mean is that even though his heart stopped, his ghost has yet to rise out of him. And that's not normal? It usually emerges immediately. The last time Yusuke died, his ghost popped right out of him. Wait! If he's come back before, maybe he's not really dead! No, trust me, kid. He's dead as a doornail. His soul is just M.I.A. Huh? Do you think that could be Mr. Urameshi's ghost?
Who are these people? Are they on our side? They're called the Spirit World Special Defense Force. They're the best of the best, and Spirit World's last line of defense. My father only calls upon them in the most desperate of situations, and I guess this hole qualifies. He depends on them unequivocally to get the job done. Which means my father has given up faith in my ability to do so. I need three of you to start on sealing up this hole right now. Saito, Sarai, Oho. How long would that take you? Sir, with the three of us working together, it should take at least ten days, sir. You've got a week, is that understood? Yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. Now get on with it. As long as that hole's open, anybody can get out. Ryuhi, Rinbai, Sunjun, kill anything that passes through. Sir, of course, sir. Koenmasa, are you all right? Well, I did bite my tongue. Return to Spirit World at once, where you can recuperate. I'm not going anywhere. This is my mess, and I'm going to clean it up. Forgive me, Your Highness, but I'm afraid that I must insist, for King Yama has declared this a state of martial law, meaning for now my jurisdiction supersedes yours. I'm sorry about this, sir. I know what martial law is, Captain. I'm no idiot. But you are, if you think for a second I'm going to back off without a fight. If you refuse to vacate, you'll have to witness something very painful. Are you threatening me now, Captain? Majesty King Yama, sir, I'm not certain I understand your orders. I'm authorizing all acts done by necessity in defense of the commonwealth of the living world. Your prime objective is to terminate Yusuke Yurameshi. Pardon my impudence, sir, but does a detective Yurameshi fight for our side and win? In fact, his track record is most impressive for a human, that is. No, oh, but that's where you are wrong. He has the half-breed's blood coursing through his veins. A real half-breed? No. Hey, Goldilocks. Get out of the way. Stop! He's just a kid! No one will stand in the way of our mission to kill your mission. What? Spirit Detective Yusuke Yurameshi, a direct descendant of the Mazaku. You're out of your mind! <laughs> He's finally come to a stop. But why would he stop here? something you don't see every day. And Yusuke? That is a vile accusation. And to level it in front of his corpse? It's ridiculous! His mother may act like a monster, but his parents are human! I had an ogre do a background check. True, as were his grandparents and great-grandparents, but if you continue back much further... <gasps> Atavism of the Mazaku. That's affirmative, sir. It's through that rare phenomena that we think Yurameshi inherited his demon blood. And if we're right, which by all signs we are, he's a genetic time bomb just waiting to trigger. DNA, the blueprint for life, passed from parent to child. Anatavism is when a trait recurs in a descendant after skipping generations. 
This can even result in a reversion to the primitive characteristics of a remote ancestor. The atavism of the Mazoku, or half-breed, is an extreme example. The Mazoku can deliberately transmit its DNA recessively until it reaches an heir strong enough to succeed it, creating a demon sleeper. The first time he died, he wasn't strong enough to awaken the beast within him, which is why he came back as a human when you revived him. Inadvertently, though, through his training as a spirit detective, we've amended that deficiency. Now there's nothing to stop the Mozoku gene from rearing its ugly head, except for us. And if your father, King Yama, hadn't detected trace amounts of that same demon energy shooting out from your meshi and the tunnel, well, we could have defeated one rogue spirit detective only to give rise to another more powerful one. Thank goodness we arrived in time to prevent it. And my father is certain about all of this? Yes. 44 generations ago, before the Kakai separated the living and demon worlds. That's when the Mazaku planted the seed of evil that's now ready to bloom within him. Which is why we must destroy his corpse. You'll have to do it over my dead body. Hmm? You should all be ashamed of yourselves, insinuating that he's a monster or a traitor or anything other than what he really is. A hero. Who do you think he's been fighting for? Who do you think he selflessly gave his life for? <laughs> and this is how you reward him? It doesn't matter what's in your blood. All that matters is what's inside your heart. <laughs> yeah, like we're gonna trust you as a good judge of character. We know all about the last spirit detective you got involved with. And as far as I'm concerned, you're still an enemy of this mission. Get your men in check, Captain. I know the severity of this situation. That's why cooler heads must prevail. And regardless of your thug's opinion, Mr. Matare has proven himself an honorable ally of my spirit detective outfit. And as for Yusuke, if what you're saying is true, it's my fault for missing it. I won't let him suffer for that. We will find another solution, Captain, because that is what civilized people Forgiveness. do. This is treason. As a leader, I'm sure you appreciate the difficult choices I have to make, but this is in the best interest of living world. Captain, look at your Ameshi. He's glowing. No, it's time! That's not spirit energy he's emitting, it's demon energy. The transformation has begun! sure know how to make a guy feel welcome. We're too late. The Mazaku is alive! <coughs> hey there, little buddy. I see you've been drinking your milk while I've been away. You know, even though I was dead, I could still hear some of what you guys were saying. So then... I'm some kind of evil, vicious monster. <laughs> My teachers have been saying that for years. I just thought it was a figure of speech. You see, Corinne Masur, how strong his demon energy is? No, not Yusuke. Your supreme evilness! I'm your humble servant! Please allow me to do whatever it is you desire! 
Thanks, weakling, but for what I desire, I don't need any help. For what I desire is ending the world and everyone in it. For I am the mighty Mazaku, Lord of Evil. <laughs> And now, after hibernating for more than a thousand years, I will finally reveal my true form. <laughs> Psych! Jeez, you guys are gullible. <laughs> hey, Koenma. You didn't really think I turned bad, right? Well, the... Well, no. Anyway, I better push off the demon world. Since we gave me a death sentence as a gift, and I'd be a jerk if I didn't return the favor. But you can't go anywhere. You have to be quarantined. You even think about stopping me, and I'll bite off your head, mustache and all. <laughs> I knew you couldn't hide your true character. You've transformed into a demon menace. Look, jerk, give me a break. It's called a running joke. I'm the same. Yusuke, you're a messy, fearless protector of the good stuff with a healthy kick of nastiness and a general hate for authority. And nothing as trivial as a violent death or a few drops of demon blood mixing with mine is gonna keep me from helping out my friends and saving the world and kicking the bad guy's ass. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming with you. Huh? But sir, you will be disobeying a direct order from King Yama besides this hostile beast. <laughs> Pass this to King Yama for me. <laughs> Sir! Captain? Are you alright? You really should wash your feet more often, Yusuke. Go in my I've tried to save you! You can tell King Daddy that, and that he can disown me or fire me or put me up for adoption. Mitari will come back for you soon. Let's go to Demon World Pooh! Kate, you do understand there's a good chance we won't be able to go back. Yes, yeah, shut up. I can't worry about that now. Remind me after we've beaten Sensui. <laughs> you are as irrational as ever. Ha, like I'm gonna give that up. It's the only thing that makes this job any fun. Come on, Pooh Blaster! <laughs> I'm coming for you, Sensui. This babysitting detail is the dullest yet. There's nothing coming out. Of course not. They may be dumb, but they're not suicidal. I'll bet those demons got one whiff of us and turn tail faster than you can say chicken. Even A-class ghosts tell stories about the SDF. We're their boogeymen. Huh. They're probably even sicker of hearing about the time you cornered the spirit fox than we are. Shut up. Something with immense demon energies approaching the perimeter. Where? Hmm. It's coming from the living world. Impossible! There are no demons that powerful in Living World! Hey, Cobra Guy! Get out of the way! <sighs> and get some cool uniforms while you're at it! <laughs> That's one big spirit animal. I think that was Prince Koenma. And that Mothaku Yurameshi was with him! That's where the demon energy was coming from. We're all doomed. <sighs> I apologize if I happen to have caused you any harm. Kill us if you're going to. Just spare us the sound of your voice. Physical strength is greater than ours at the moment. That's all. Unfortunately, that's the only thing that matters here in Demon World. I'm sorry, Yumeshi. I failed you. I am merciful. I want to relieve you of your misery. What's that? A great demon energy. And it's coming from the other side. It can't be. Sorry, 
I got delayed. Traffic was a bitch. But I'm back! And I'm ready to finish this! Ditching a guy while he's down and then hogging the bad guy all to yourselves. I gotta admit I'm disappointed in you jerks. But did you honestly think I'd just lie there and let you guys fight my battles for me? Give me a break. You messy! But you were... Well, you were definitely dead, I swear it! Your heart stopped beating! I double-checked! Yeah, I can't explain that. In fact, my ticker's still not ticking. I guess I should be worried, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to that. You see, demon hearts don't beat in the conventional human sense. Demon? Yes, demon. I keep hoping I'll wake up soon. It's no dream. Yusuke has had dormant blood inside him. Mazaku blood, which explains a few things I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, funny story. One of my ancestors way back was this Mazaku guy, so when I died I was able to come back, but more like him. Yeah, so you are a demon! Transmigration. The atavism of the Mazaku. That's correct. An ironic twist. The demon hunter has become the demon. I had no idea you were one of us, Yusuke. How's it feel to be so superior? Uh, honestly? I don't really feel all that different now. I mean, I haven't sprouted horns or extra eyes yet. But I do have this sudden burning desire to tear this guy to pieces. So how about it, Sensui? Ready to feed some worms? Back off, Yusuke. We're in the middle of something, and I've suddenly discovered my second wind. No, Hiei. I will take him. What is this, a prom date dispute? I mean, I'm sure since we's flattered by the popularity and all, but this is my damn fight. I hate to say it, Kuwabara, but you're the only one acting sane. <laughs> I'm ready! And better than ever! Stand back, because I can kick his butt myself! You do realize he'll be kicking back. Yeah, and after him, you're next! <laughs> there won't be a next. <laughs> Just shut up! Those three have become as strong now as they were when they watched Yurameshi die. No, even stronger. Koenma, you've chosen your team wisely. It's one thing to be empowered by rage at the loss of your friend. It's something extraordinary to be empowered by his return. I appreciate your help, but I need to finish this alone. You dig? <laughs> Knock him dead, Yusuke Yurameshi. But if you fail, know I've got your back. did it, Captain, but the Mazaku Yurameshi blew right past us. I know how. We were there when he was reborn. The guy's demon energy is off the charts. We've never had any problems in the past neutralizing even the strongest A-class apparitions. So why aren't we able to stop this teenage boy? I hunted the spirit fox, and his energy was nothing compared to the vibes coming off this kid. It doesn't make any sense, Captain, sir. It's impossible! They said we're the best. Let me assure you that you soldiers are the finest spirit world has. But with that said, there's always someone better. This can't be. We've operated on a need-to-know basis, 
And as long as we've stayed clear of Demon World's pits, you didn't need to know. But beyond B and A class, there exists an S class. So you're saying that you're a Meshi is the descendant of one of these S class? And what about Sensui? Sensui is still human, but his power is equivalent to that of an S class demon. So what now? We should just throw in the towel? No. I refuse to believe that a human and a demon are stronger than Spirit World's toughest. Is that really the situation, Captain? Is it the sort of thing we could do, sir? How can we do this? Is it totally hopeless? Attention! Hurt! There's a good reason why you never knew the S-Class existed. Because the Kakai barrier kept them out of our way. So what do we do? Stand around feeling sorry for ourselves? We're the SDF for crying out loud! I'm sealing that net! Who's with me? We are, sir! That's more like it. We'll have that baby sealed up in 48 hours, and we won't quit until those two monsters are stuck in there for good. marksman-like performance. But don't forget, if we've learned one thing fighting with Yusuke, it's that he adapts quickly to new circumstances to squeeze out a win. Hey! D don't waste any ammo! Oh, right, I forgot. There's only one more shot left. Well, I hope I can save it for the after party. I don't think he likes sarcasm. He stripped off the secret energy armor, but won't that make him easier to attack? He's shifting his strategy to offense. Hey, nice change. Now let's go. Take them so they can watch the fight from a safe distance. I have a feeling this is gonna get pretty rough. Feels so good to manipulate them. 
we hold human will with the words on our tongue and we can crush them like little ants. I know that's not what you really want. I know that deep down you truly love your own world. Yeah. Love it so much you want to kill the humans that plague it. With arrogance and insecurity, they have destroyed their most sacred gifts, their world, and their brothers. At long last, their day of judgment has come. Who am I to pass that judgment? This ends here. Never, Shinobu. It has yet to begin. After all this, don't pussy out now. Not when things are about to get really freaking fun here. We wouldn't survive to see that. It's already too late for us. What's going on out there? Great. They've knocked the demon masses out of rank. And it's safe to bet they won't be dropping in to give Yusuke a helping hand. this for good. <laughs> you are single-minded in your vengeance, Yurameshi. I like that about you. you but I'm feeling crowded what do you say we move this fight to a more open schoolyard all right Yusuke where do you suggest see that tall pointy mountain over there there's nothing but rocks and sand around it it'll be perfect you sound familiar with it as though you've been there before must be an ancestor thing but enough of this walk down regressed memory lane let's go They're moving. Boo! Follow them! I don't know. I still can't believe this giant beast of a bird is really our cute little Poo. Well, he's a reflection of Yusuke's self. As Yusuke was reborn, so was Poo. But your messy didn't get all jumbo-sized. Not on the outside. a demon heartbeat?
considering that the two of them caused it. All right, well, we'd better pull back for now. The power they're generating is as great as two S-Class demons. We'll get fried if we stay too close. I wish there was something we could do, Yusuke. It's no use hiding your body from me if you don't take measures to hide that demon energy of yours. <laughs> My bad. It was worth a try. <laughs> Guess I'm still getting used to this whole demon energy deal. It's not so easy. But don't you worry, because I'm getting there. I said don't worry, not go dumb. Tell me you're not hatching some elaborate plan. Nothing that you need be made privy to. Oh, come on. Share with the rest of the class. You'll know soon. Don't forget, I'm working with a short attention span. <laughs> you think you're ready? I can't hear. What do you think they're talking about now? Who knows? As much as Yusuke's strength and abilities are continuing to evolve before us, I'm concerned about Sensui's change of demeanor. Kurama's right. Before, fighting was a chore, but now he seems to be enjoying it. The weight has been lifted, as though this fight is what he's desired all along. The joy of a worthy foe. It's what I felt when I fought with Yusuke. That was before. Big deal. Are we gonna finish this? <laughs> yes, let's. There it goes again. What is that? You are the one. At last. Who are you? You don't know how to use your power. Let me show you. Yusuke's body has finally accepted the transformation the Masuku desired. It 
This is perfect. Did you guys see that? Since we cracked a smile when he saw our freaky half-breed. He really is an arrogant creep, isn't he? Pretty much, but that's beside the point. It's not use case change that Sensui smirks at. Even from this vantage point, I can tell that Sensui has undergone a profound, transcendent metamorphosis. A spiritual awakening, if you will. Spiritual awakening? Back in the cave, his fighting was filled with such loathing and callousness, self-hatred. His heart was so dark, even for a bad guy. But now that's gone. Yes, as if he's suddenly come to terms with his place in the world and achieved some sort of balance. What a jerk. <laughs> you are indeed the descendant of the Mazaku. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs> and what's so funny about that? Not so much funny as divine. That fortune would smile upon me. How's that? I'm fighting a beast that only appears once every 40 plus generations. That's no mistake. <laughs> you should be careful what you call a fortunate opportunity. Your luck could run out. Cases. His ancestor must have been an extremely brutal and formidable warrior. As a mere human, since we doesn't stand a chance of beating him. Let's hope so. <laughs> do you still think that challenging me is some great opportunity for you? Well, do you? Playtime's over. What's happening? Who's doing this? Hey, give me back my body! Shut up, this doesn't concern you. The hell it doesn't! So long! You having second thoughts all of a sudden? I mean, he hit his mark head on, didn't he? It's what he wanted. Pooh, take us down there now. <laughs> There's no way anybody could still be alive after getting hit by something like that. 
Over there, Pooh. Huh? Hey, since we wake up. I said wake up, you stubborn son of a bitch. I'm warning you, I'll bust into spirit world and pull you back out myself. You can't be dead, not this way. What are you saying, man? Has your brain gone as fuzzy as your head? We wanted him dead and so did you. Whoever may have killed him, it wasn't me. But we all saw you. It looked like me because it was my body, but it wasn't me in there when it happened. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. Do you understand? Look, you're a messy. I think you need some rest. <coughs> He's alive. <coughs> Kurama can use some kind of healing plant on him. He's not dead. He just needs a boost. Unfortunately, I used up most of my energy when I was fighting him before. The most I can do for him now is give him something to ease his final pain. What good are your powers if you can't use them when you need them? But if that's it, fine. Just give him what you've got. Gladly. That won't be necessary. Don't tell me! Itsuki! Please, just let Shinobu go. If I'm gonna kill a human, even an evil one, it's at least gotta be me pulling the trigger. I'll never know it was me who made that choice. Don't torture yourself. Shinobu had only half a month left to live anyway. Shinobu was suffering from a rare and terminal disease. Dr. Kamiya confirmed that, though not even he could cure it. An ordinary person would have lost the fight a long time ago but not Shinobu. Is this your idea of a joke? <laughs> He's telling the truth. <laughs> but I'm not making excuses for my loss. Your final attack, Yusuke. With it, you proved yourself to be much stronger than I. But that wasn't even my power. I had no control over my body. You and I, we aren't finished yet. I need to know who's really stronger. Trust me, consciousness exists on many levels. Part of you that was ready to make the choice must have taken control. But it was definitely you, a demon you, who killed me. Damn it, you're not listening to me! It wasn't me! I can't be happy! I'll give you time to heal up, you take some painkillers now, and we'll do it over! Only Yusuke would still want to fight a man after he's dead. Wake me when it's over. <sighs> Don't just stand there, Koenmi. You've got to have some kind of powers that could bring him back. I did, but unfortunately, they were stored in my pacifier, which I drained empty in the cave trying to stop him. He's the author of his own fate once again. I doubt I would have had enough energy even before the Mafuken spell. I drained so much power on the way down. What? Is this a confession? <laughs> Have a good nap, kid. I don't get it. Why? Koenma brought you back to life. As for why, I couldn't say. Lost soul now retrieved! Maybe I've been wrong. The battle must be over by now. So you wasted it all saving that brat kid's life? Pretty much. <laughs> you think that's funny? Since I realized your Mufugan would be my greatest obstacle, I arranged Amanuma's death to drain your energy. You were already riddled with guilt over me. I knew you would feel compelled against all logic to save the boy. It was the only way I could ensure my ultimate passage to Demon World. Shinobu, I do not understand why coming to this place would matter so much to you. You went through so much trouble and risked the destruction of all of Living World to get here. Why? Because it's home. Home to the apparitions whom I've been taking life from since I was a child. When I was younger, I always wondered. Why me? Why do these horrible creatures pick only on me? Why do they hate me? Why do they want me to die? But I was a child and I never tried to ask them. 
I never gave them the chance to speak. Instead, I improved my fighting techniques while I grew to hate them more and wanted them to die even more. When I became a spirit detective, they told me, they are not like us, so they must be against us. Their difference threatens our sameness. It is us versus them. Humans are good and demons are bad. We are just and they are unjust. But I was an adolescent and did not even think to question such simple binaries. I could not have been more wrong. I discovered the humans I was sworn to protect were in truth the greater monsters. And if that were so, then I had to question everything I knew of the monsters I'd been fighting. My world turned inside out. The truths I'd held to be irrefutable were all inverted. When I learned that I was going to die, I knew that I needed to collapse those boundaries between us and them, thus the tunnel. And then I could come here to die. I thought if I could see the world through their eyes, be a stranger in a strange land, then maybe I could understand them better, and thus understand myself. Dying by demon hands, I could then make penance for my sins. <laughs> but then I saw you, Urameshi, first demonized in a human's body and then humanized in a demon's. You dissolve the barriers between us in ways I never imagined, and now I can finally rest. Shinobu. You're a meshi. You are the justice I could never find. Great changes will come through you. Someday when you're lying in my position, you'll know a dying man's need for closure. But until then, thank you. Take you myself. I won't let you. Shinobu's dead. You got the end you desired, so don't you think he deserves the same? He devoted the last ten years to refuting everything you believe in. He didn't live by your standards, and he certainly didn't want to die by them. So I won't let you take him to Spirit World, for you to judge him in your way. See? Being defeated by the Mazoku was precisely the cathartic jolt he needed to resolve his inner turmoil and pay off his guilt. He finally conquered those six personalities and emerged as Shinobu, his original untainted self. So in a way, he's already been redeemed and doesn't need you people to do it for him. you take him? Somewhere his soul won't be subjected to your overbearing scorn and judgment. Where it will be safe from hypocritical administrators who train a boy to be a killer and then hunt him down for being one as a man. You people do not deserve Shinobu's soul. Your spirit world will have to create another enemy so you can keep on fighting, as that is, after all, what you do. But Shinobu and I grow weary of that. We are going to spend the rest of eternity together. In solitude and in peace. Damn it! If I kicked his ass, why do I still feel like he won? It's true in a way, since we achieved the very thing that he intended by initiating all of this. Uh, question your Meshi. What is it? I was just wondering if you feel kind of weird. Now that you mention it, yeah, something on my back's really been making it itch quite a bit. Yeah, I must look like I've been playing around with an electric socket! See, you guys, that's exactly what I said. That's just the physical resemblance to your ancestor rising to the surface, Yusuke. 
though I'm beginning to suspect that he's still alive somewhere in this world. So then, he must have been the guy who turned me into his own personal marionette during that last shot on Sensui. What makes you so sure? Oh, just something that crazy voice in my head said to me, but you never know. Hearing voices? You are the one. At last. Who are you? You don't know how to use your power. Let me show you. And those words are the last thing that I remember hearing before everything went silent and I blacked out. Then what? <laughs> Hey, watch where you're pointing that thing! You asked me what happened next, right? Well, this is how I was when I woke. I just finished shooting my spirit gun. I saw the blast heading for Sinsweet like it was in slow motion, but I realized I wasn't the one who fired it. Let's go! Uh, go where? If my ancestor is here and still alive, we have to find him! No! Come on, you're a meshy! We closed the case and saved the world! Can't we at least take a nap? I'm not gonna rest until I get to the bottom of this. My ancestors got in the way of my fight, and I can't let him get away with that, no matter who he's related to. If you weren't with me, fine, I'll just stay and fight him on my own. You know, Yusuke, you may want to give this decision more thought. The SDF have no doubt been busy little beavers while we've been gone, damming up the tunnel on Living World's side. Now those toadies may be many things, but they are not inefficient. That hole will be filled in like a cavity within a matter of days. Wait a minute! If the hole is sealed up, then we... Uh... Won't ever be able to return to human world again. You mean I'll never eat another double cheeseburger? You can go back to human world now, or stay here in demon world forever. But you have to choose. Give you a couple minutes to think it over, Yusuke. Ha! I don't need it. I've already made up my mind. What? Load up, Pooh. Let's go back home. Another case draws to a close. Since we has been defeated and human world has been spared cataclysmic destruction thanks to Yusuke and his friends. Now that the battle is over, life for our heroes can return to normal. At least until the next dark cloud appears on the horizon.